Hi, it's John. It's the 8th of July 2014 and we've had a wonderful year of the sunshine and I think probably these um, small tortoiseshell caterpillars have appreciated the good weather or the you know, the small tortoiseshell um, all together really, you know, the caterpillar and the, the butterfly and everything. They they have several broods a year and they feed on stinging nettles. I mean they don't do anybody any harm do they? I mean and nobody likes stinging nettles so they're welcome to the stinging nettles um, and they have to survive because people chop the nettles down and the eggs get chopped down but they do survive you know for since the beginning of time really and they? they have survived um, <coughs> they, they're uh, black and yellow and a, a little bit grey um, they're a lot greyer than the peacock caterpillars peacock butterfly caterpillars so that's how you tell them apart and the um, the web that they spin to um, keep themselves together. Oh, I've gone right out of focus. That's yeah, better. Um, that's grey as well. So, a lot of grey. The butterfly is predominantly orangey brown, I'd say. Um, I did a video yesterday of these and I got it a bit wrong, so I thought I'd do it again. They look very healthy. They um, shed their skin about three or four times as they get bigger. And then they turn into a chrysalis, a pupa, for about a week, and then come out as a, a butterfly. Um, and they're lovely to have flying around. And then the butterfly will hibernate in people's sheds or in hollow trees and then come out again next March, April and start the breeding cycle again. Our allotment here is, well, try and leave, leave it a little bit for wildlife as well as allotments. This corner here we left for wildlife. This corner I left for left here, nice blue clover, and we got a, an orchid has come up over here. You know that came up naturally; we didn't plant it. Um, and then this is woody willow herb all through there. And a big pinch of meadow sweet here. The woody willow herb has a lovely smell to it. Well, and the meadow sweet. Musky, musky smell, the meadow sweet. So, this is a, a natural spring here, so we can't use it for the for growing vegetables, so may as well leave it for wildlife. And that's, um, this is a great big patch of apple mint. Hmm, lovely smell. But don't get mint in your garden, always keep it in the pot. I'll sort of take over. What else have we got? Anything else? Great big um, rushy grass there. It's quite pretty. Oh, and there's some big uh, comfrey over there. I, I planted that comfrey in there. Had a bit extra and I bunged it in and it's, and it's flourished. And as I say, that's a spring there, so there's lots of water. Right. Oh, and thistles. They're a bit the gardener's enemy, aren't they? Now that's the, uh, the butterfly of the small tortoiseshell. Been rather lucky there, haven't I? Hope it's in focus. Come back a bit. 
it's on these old thistles. They like old thistles. Uh, gardeners don't like the thistles, of course, but uh, butterflies do.